So you guys know I like doing videos like this where I help you guys out based off of personal experiences. And I have a success story that I wanna talk about, but I also wanna share this with you on what you guys should do if you find yourselves in a position where she backs away or she's getting cold and you, <laughs> you don't know what to do. So I'm gonna tell you guys what to do. Be cool, it's gonna be okay, guys. So this issue in particular, I've talked about this young man and I'm gonna bring him on the show. I'm gonna interview him to let him tell you his success story. But basically backstory on him was that he met this girl at the club and they exchanged numbers and she was standoffish. He, he would have to initiate text and she would kind of take her time getting back to him and things like that. And she just wasn't really into him. She was into him at first, but then he's showing me the text thread and the stuff that he's saying, he's constantly like chasing her and pushing up on her. She's an attractive young woman. She's in her 20s. He's in his 20s, early 20s to be exact for both of them. So she's got a ton of dudes getting after her, a ton of dudes trying to get with her. So you're just one guy trying to compete with all these other dudes and you're pretty much doing the same thing. Even though you have this conversation with her, you text her and she shows interest, then she goes cold. So what I told him to do, he was like, what should I do, what should I do? I'm like, yo, just set up a date with her ask her out and see what happens and if she says no cool then you give her a second chance and some of you guys are like no i'm not gonna give her a second chance you guys are texting so it's cool man what do you got to lose so he asked her out a second time and she was like okay and they met at the club and everything was cool they were chatting nothing happened and he was this guy's really into this girl and so he keeps showing me the text message like jr man she's saying this did I come on too strong? I texted her saying, can I see you again? Once you start doing this, fellas, ladies, they know when you're thirsty. They know when you don't have a lineup or other women that aren't interested in you based upon how often you text her. You have to give women a chance to breathe. So when she backs away, which is what she did in his case, she wouldn't respond for like days as opposed to texting previously every day, texting them back. But once you start showing this neediness and this guy's really into me, this guy's rushing, which is another thing that women say, what's the rush? What is the rush? And a lot of you guys are like, oh man, I have to say something. I wonder if she's thinking, she may not think I like her. I have to say something, let her know that I like her. I have to say something, oh man, oh man. Analysis paralysis kicking in, what do I do, what do I do? And then you start texting her and some of you double, triple text and then before you know it, you're getting angry and upset because she's not responding because you already turned her off. You guys don't ever want to make it to that point. Once you see a woman start backing off and she's not responding as frequently, then you pull back. You match her energy and you give it some time. Sometimes that's all it takes. Guys, all you have to realize with women is that it is about timing. It's about timing. Now, if you did something crazy and then sent some crazy text message, you ain't nothing, bitch, you ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. You, how you said, how you, why you giving me your number if you don't want to communicate? Well, this is crazy, blah, 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 You're acting like a woman, you're in your feminine, you're becoming neurotic, blowing her phone up. And this is what women don't like. Women fear for their safety and they get scared. They're like, this is just another one of the guys, toss him and she's just done with you. Cause she'll have another guy out of the pool of dudes. She's basically sticking to the guys who aren't all over her who are giving her a chance to breathe, that give her a chance to think about them. You always texting her, she never gets a chance to wonder about you. Sometimes if you messed up, you just have to let it cool off, then revisit as a new person. Maybe that'd be a few weeks later, maybe that'd be a month later, maybe that'd be a year later, depending on how bad you messed up. Cause it may be at that time, you just turned her off. In the case of this guy, I told him because he was supposed to meet up with her that following Saturday, he was like, JR, should I text her in between now and then or whatever? I said, no, she said to you, the last thing she said to you was, see you on Saturday, right? And he said, yes. So you just leave it at that. This isn't your girlfriend. By you not saying anything to her, it's not going to turn her off because you have no skin in the game anyway. If you already got her hooked or you guys are kind of like talking and she's into you, then that's different but she's not into you yet. Even if you do become intimate with her, doesn't mean she's gonna be into you either. So you guys have to be aware of this. So you have to give her that space. So I told him, no, do not text her. You meet her at the place that she said to meet her at. 
what he ended up doing, which I don't have an issue with, was just checking in with her like the day before. Hey, are you still gonna be at the place? She was like, yeah. And he left it at that and she texted him and said, are you here? And it's like one or two in the morning. They end up meeting up. They end up hooking up. He ends up smashing in the car right outside the club just because he was patient. But if he would have did what his mind was telling him to do and he would have gave in to temptation, he would have texted his way out of the situation and she would have basically been with some other dude that night. But this is how you have to treat situations without getting butthurt and angry because a woman doesn't text you back. You don't own this woman. She doesn't owe you anything. She doesn't even owe you a response, really, even if she does give you her phone number. Women are fickle and you have to remember that. You have to have endless patience. What I mean by that is you don't sit there and wait for her to come around. You have to have endless patience in terms of letting her get back to you. And if she doesn't get back to you, oh well, there's more women out here, fellas. And that's what you, you guys keep forgetting that. You guys get hung up on one woman and it's like the end of the world. You can't get another woman because you put in work to finally get this girl's number. She's beautiful. This is the one I want. I got to have her. And that's what he was thinking. I kept telling him, man, you need to get more girls. You need to get at least a starting five, which is what I tell guys. Get a starting five. Because you're thinking about this woman. She's not thinking about you. She's got a starting five to ten that she's dealing with. And she's not thinking about you right now. But here you are. She's living rent free in your mind. And you're like, oh, man, should I do this? Should I do that? Trust me, I've been there, guys, where I was hung up on a woman wanting to text her. Should I wait? Counting the days down. It's been 48 hours. It's been 72 hours. It's been a week. The no contact situation. Guys, just be cool have other stuff going on don't get hung up on this one lady fellas and that's what i want to tell you don't get all angry and upset because that's the quickest way to turn a woman off so fellas with that being said just relax keep it cordial don't ever get in your feelings with her reach out set a date go on from there two times max you're reaching out to her if she doesn't want to go out with you those two times, then you just leave her alone and just leave it at that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. If you're dealing with something like this and you don't know what to do, I got you. It's a lot to unpack on this video, but basically, guys, this is what you do when she starts pulling away. Anyway, peace and blessings and abundance. This is your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Make sure you guys cop a t-shirt merch, all those things. The links are below. Stick around for the next video. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cent. 50. Part two. I'm bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK. Uh.